Hello, my name is Stephen Cox from Share Navigator, and today I'm going to talk about placing spread trades on the Interactive Brokers platform. So, um, I'm not going to talk about the merits of each trade, I'm just going to show you how to place the trades. That's what the purpose of this video is. The merits of the trade are discussed in other videos in our options courses. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to do this via the the Trader Workstation platform, which is a more sophisticated platform than the Web Trader, which is something you may have used. So we're in the Trader Workstation. This is what your screen is going to look like. We're going to click on Trading Tools, and you can see under Options Focus, there's a number of drop-down menus here. We're going to click on Spread Builder. And you can see a new window will open up in the middle of your screen. On the left-hand side, you have one window and then a sub window of that will come up on the, on the right hand side so we're interested in creating a spread trade on spy so we're going to type in spy in the top left here in the quotes screen and we're going to click on that and you're going to see now on the right hand side the option chain for this is going to populate now in a second and we're going to be able to edit that if we want so you can see we have calls on the left hand side we've got our strike prices in the middle and then puts on the right hand side okay now we're going to create a four leg trade here if i've set this up because i was at an investment club meeting last night and they're interested in this particular trade at this moment in time but if you wanted to change this and put in different strikes in here you could so you just come down here to the bottom you see strikes and you could add in the 186 strike for example the 186.50 whatever we're not going to do that because we have it set up the way we want it you could also change the expiry which i just click in different expiry dates here so very simple to change all of that if you want. Okay, now the great thing about this is once we start clicking on bid on ask prices over here, it's going to automatically create that leg of the trade over on this side. Okay, so the first part of this trade that the club wanted to do was a bull put spread uh, on SPY and they wanted to do the 189, 188 bull put spread. So the first thing we have to do is sell the 189 put. So we click on the bid price for the 189. You can see automatically that leg is now being created over here. So it automatically transfers over to this side. Now to cover that position, we have to obviously buy the 188 put. So we click on that. You can see leg number two is created. Now the other part of this trade that the club wanted to do was a bear call spread. So the first part of that, we're looking at the 210 strike. We're now coming over underneath calls and we're gonna sell the 210 call. And to cover that leg of the trade, we're going to buy the 211 call. So now all you can see here is the four legs that we wanted are over on this side. The system is going to tell you that it's an iron condor. It's telling you exactly what you want here. It's, if you're not happy with that, you can remove legs. Just click on X. Very simple to do. Now, this is what we call a credit spread. You're getting paid in advance to make this particular trade. And because there's four different legs here, um, and you can see the bid and the ask is three cents here. There's three cents differentials. So if you do not put a limit price in for this, um, you could get hurt when it comes down to actually getting what you deserve. So down here we have limit price. Let's say we're going to change the quantity. Let's say we're going to do five contracts on this. And we're saying it's a credit spread. But if you want to change that and say, look, um, uh, I want to get, let's say, 26 cents. Don't place any of these trades until you get me 26 cents for the whole lot. So that's the brilliance of this system. We can also change the time and force from day to GTC. We'll just leave it at day for now. And we're going to go and click on submit. So you see what happens here. An order window opens up. This is like your last chance saloon. Are you sure you want to kind of place this particular trade? And it goes through each line of the trade for you. Okay. You've told it that you, you want a, a limit price of 26. The reason it's a minus, it's a credit spread. It's not something you're actually paying out. It's coming into you, okay? So you're going to get for this particular trade 130 US dollars up front. And they reckon the estimated commission for this trade is anywhere between 9 and 23 US dollars. That's very impressive, guys. Because if you were to place this particular trade uh, with other brokers, you could be talking 40 50 dollars so um to be able to create four trades all at once um is is very very impressive so we're just going to click on transmit and now that order is gone we're going to check our pending orders now in a second so i'll close this screen down we're going to click on pending and here you can see the particular trade is on 
you can see that we've done it. So we've placed this before with two. You can see down here, this is the trade here. If you look at the combination, it'll tell you what, exactly what the combination is. And it's as simple as that. So that's how you go and place a spread trade. It's really, really easy. Um, but I would encourage you to look at the merits of each trade before you place this type of a trade. My name is Stephen Cox from Share Navigator. If you need more help for us on this, just go to our website. We've lots of courses on this type of stuff. Thanks and bye for now.